Hello my fellow crafters and welcome to my channel. My name is David and today I'm going to be making a Lavinia card for you. Um, I'm part of the design team for Lavinia and in that perspective I will make two videos a month uh, with these beautiful stamps for you. And today I'm going to be playing with Jalandar. How do you pronounce that? I don't know. A beautiful stamp. It's called Jalandar. Jalandar? Jalandar? I don't know. Uh, anyway. I will switch camera so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Uh, it's this beautiful stamp. That's what I'm going to be using. Um, I've got my watercolor paper ready to use. Um, so I'm going to be st using that. I've got my card base ready. So let's dive in and make a card. Now, so I'm going to protect my work service for a minute with the splatter box because I'm going to make a mess. And I love it. Uh, you can't make me happier than let me play with ink and sprays and oh i love it so that's there to absorb any excess now i've got my card here i've got another piece of card somewhere oh there it is yeah found it um, and what i'm going to do is i'm going to spray this card with water as i said this is the watercolor paper from lavinia and i'm going to be using some mica uh, sprays on this so i've got these three sprays here Blue Moon, Kingfisher and Teal. And I'm going to go from um, create a deep sea. So I'm going to spray some more water on here. Also on the back. And just spray this on. I just love that gradient. Just a bit more. Spritz on some more water. And then I'm going to take my second card. And I'm going to put that on there. Smooth side down. And press this on there. Just make sure that it's lined up correctly. There we go. I'm going to take out my paper and I'm just going to use that to rub down on here. And yes, you will get dirty fingers from doing this. If you can't stand that, wear gloves. I don't mind. When I wash my hair tomorrow, it'll be gone. So, and I'm going to take off this card. Oh, I love this. Now, which one am I going to use? This one. They're similar, you see? But I love that gradient color. So, I'm going to put my splat box away. That can live on the floor for a minute. And I'm just going to add some more water to this. Get a piece of paper. And dab some areas to create some yeah some spots of lighter and darker in my ocean okay that's that because the mica stains are water reactive you can still play with that and that's one thing I really like about them so um, I will put those to the side and dry this because that is quite important that it's dry before I uh, stamp on it. Next I'm coming in with first of all Claire in warm breeze. I'm just gonna go around the edge darkening this up ever so slightly to the colors that I used in the sprays. So I'm gonna use that to just darken it up ever so slightly drawing the focus of the eye to the inside. And then I'm gonna come in with Bluebell And just darken up this bottom ever so slightly. You see, that creates a beautiful deep sea. Okay, so I've straightened out my card. It's ready to stamp on. So let's get Jelander out and stamp him onto my card. 
really ink him up well because there's a lot of detail on there and I'm gonna stamp him a bit to the top of my card there we go and commit and let this soak in that's there's a lot of mica stain on here and the mica doesn't always take the ink that well so really need give time to sink it in uh, give some pressure to this stamp now I'm not going to be bothered too much with this part because I'm gonna uh, do something but these I need to be the tentacles that's what you call it uh, I really need to be have stamped pretty well so beautiful these stamps are stunning right look at the detail in there I love it okay I'm gonna put that to the side to dry and um, what I've done ahead is I've already stamped uh, the head of the jellyfish um, before I started recording this video and I'm just gonna color that in and I'm gonna use that do that using the new Tim Holtz pencils um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color in where it's the darkest on the stamp. That will be where I will put my color down. These are the new Distress watercolor pencils. I'm just giving them a go. Did I need to buy new color, uh, watercolor pencils? No, but I like it because it has the same names as the Distress Colors and this is Picked Raspberry and I know what color that is. So that makes it quite easy. So I'm just scribbling on, nothing fancy, nothing special. Just coloring in. The darkest areas where there are dots etc that's where I put down most of my pigment and I'm gonna take my watercolor brush make sure it's clean well it's not but it has the same color on from the last project I did so and I'm gonna water this down color this in activating that pencil and then come to the inside letting it stay a bit lighter like so so I will do that with everything so here we go this is all colored in now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm just gonna pick up that color directly from the pencil and I'm just gonna intensify that color around the edges where I want it to be darkest Okay, so I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to cut that out. Um, but first I'm going to do some more stamping. Um, now I'm not sure uh, which ones I'm going to use. I think I'm going to do... Um, I've got these two that I want to try out. So, okay, first I'm going to ink up in uh, the warm breeze. See what that does. So I want this to be quite subtle. So let me have a look clean up my mess because that will go anywhere knowing me let's see how this turns out beautiful exactly what I had in mind and another one here So what I'm doing, I'm doing first generation and then a second generation in between. I'm not sure you can pick it up, but that really gives it some depth. Next, I'm coming in with Blue Bell and using the same stamp. By the way, this is Leaf Creeper, but if you stamp it in blue, nobody will know, right? And I'm just going to... Stamp that over this. And because these are darker, 
this will come more to the forefront of the scene. And I think that's enough to give it a base here at the bottom. Um, what I also want to do is use these bubbles pink orbs it's called. I'm going to use that same warm breeze and I'm going to stamp that off on a scrap piece of paper and then how does the second generation look? Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to ink this up Stamp it off, and then I will put this right here. Just to give that a hint of these bubbles. I really don't want it to be harsh. I'm not sure you, the camera, yeah, the camera picks it up. It just gives it some structure. There we go. That's enough. But it just I like the structure it gives. You see? Okay. Now, next I'm coming in with that same color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to color in these tentacles. Just giving them some hint of that pink. Nothing fancy, nothing, no complicated watercoloring, just giving that a hint of color fairly. Uh, because I'm not a good watercolor artist, I'm not an artist, I'm just a crafter that likes to play with ink and color. And watercolor is definitely not my specialty, but I like doing it and I like the different effects you can get with doing that. Okay, that's that. Then I'm coming back in with my watercolor brush. Spritz some water. And I'm going to activate that ink. Just by putting some water on and pulling that color down. Like so. And I will do that with the whole, all the tentacles. And that will give this really nice pinky purplish color and here we have it that is uh, this part done okay clean my brush so this was quite simple and clean um, what I'm gonna do next this was now dry enough <laughs> Uh, and I will just take my scissors and trim this out. I'm just going to go around this very simple shape to, to trim out. Okay, that is trimmed out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little uh, glue pen um, and I'm just going to follow these dotted lines uh, that are on there. The dotted lines and these lines. So I'm just going to dot these. And again, I'm not going to be perfect about this. And here at the edge, edge I should say. Now, while that is drying, I'm coming back to my card and I've got my stickles here and I just need to get going and I will just put some glitter, glittery lines along with the tentacles coming down, making him even more magical, 
more majestic than he already is. Now, by now, my glue pen is dry. Now, what I've got here, in the past, I have been uh, a face painter and I've got this beautiful uh, gl glitter. It's for, um, it's for face painting. Hey, glitter is glitter. Uh, and I'm just gonna put that, I wanted this color. Look at that color. That's why I'm using this. So I'm sorry, I I'm not sure this is for sale anymore. I, but yeah, use any glitter you've got that is the right color. But I'm just gonna dump this on there. Gonna take my tweezers and tap off the excess. Now look at that. Now I'm just gonna take a brush and I'm gonna clean off anything that I don't want on there. That is quite easy to do. I'm just gonna go over that like so. And just wipe off everything I don't need. Beautiful, right? I love that. Okay, that's that. So what I'm gonna do next, this can go, is I'm going to shape him a bit. Take a piece of foam tape and put that behind him just to give him ever so slightly some dimension. And then I'm gonna put some glue on the sides. And there we go. I just love this. I love the dimension. I love the shadow it gives. I love the colors. I love how he pops from the from the paper. So all that's left now is to do some shading. Because now looking at this, I want a bit more darkness at the bottom. So I'm gonna take my Versafine Claire in blue blue bell. Take off the excess in the lid, and I'm just gonna darken up the bottom here a bit. Just so, yeah, the deep sea is accentuated a bit more. Come in with warm breeze, and just on the sides, darkening this up a tiny bit. Blending it into that blue. Now, as you notice, I'm not doing the top. And that's simple because the light is coming from above. So what I'm going to do next is I've got my pen pastel here. I'm just going to make sure there's no other color on there. I'm going to take my white, load up my thingy. I'm just going to accentuate that sunlight beaming through. coming from above and then with my finger I'm gonna soften that up because I don't want these to be too obvious but I want them to be on there okay so now it's time to assemble the card um, I've got my card base here I'm just gonna take my glue gun or how do you call this easy runner and I'm gonna put some tape behind this because my panel is a bit warped, so I'm going to put quite a lot of adhesive on there, so that will flatten it out. There we have it. Beautiful. Shine, shimmer, glimmer. Uh, yeah, I love this deep sea scene. So this is the finished result. I hope you like it. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, and consider to subscribe to my channel. That would really make my day. Um, thank you for watching this one and I would love to see you for the next one. Thank you very much. Bye!